Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Innocence Shines, and our scripture is Psalm 37. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong, for like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord, and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper, or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But their swords will stab their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. King David knew both sides of what he wrote. David had been innocent, and David had been wicked. Both sides are well known from the biblical record. David was a shepherd boy who, in his complete and innocent trust in God, killed a lion with his bare hands and a giant with a slingshot. He'd also played the evil one, taking another man's wife and having the man killed to cover it up. David knew what it was to shine in innocence as well as to slide into the darkness. The contrast in this psalm paints a mural of the human condition. We are creatures capable of incredible kindness, generosity, and unselfishness. We are also prone to sociopathic malevolence, turning from the light to the dark side, or the reverse, in a heartbeat. Screen actor Tobias Menzies stars in the BBC's popular Outlander series. It's a tale of time travel and intrigue in the 18th and 20th centuries. His part is the character of Black Jack Randall, a British officer who's a sociopathic sadist. Black Jack's passion and stock and trade is to pretend compassion and care for people to gain their trust and, in a stunning turn of events, transform into their worst nightmare. Now, King David is not Black Jack Randall, but he knows he could be, and that's the whole point. David takes sin seriously because the power of sin and its consequences is insidious. It sneaks in the back door and empties the soul of anything like life. There's a good reason we're warned over and over again in Scripture to flee evil and temptation. By comparison, living a life forsaking anger, lust, greed, and all the opposites of true Christian goals is also a possibility if one is ready to deny the blackjack Randall within and place our faith in Christ daily. That's what Jesus told his followers. Matthew chapter 16, Jesus said to his disciples, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. For you today, the contemporary song, Shine, Jesus, Shine, is a banner for the innocence prayer. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. If you want innocence to grow in you and let you live a life of confidence and joy, this is the light that's necessary for your soul. Let there be light is our prayer. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.